welcome to the Lelantia Show. Today I'm coming on to talk about fairies. What are real fairies? And this is definitely like a short overview of what fairies are here in our world right now. But like I said, it's an overview. There's so much more to talk about and so many more videos to come. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lelanti. I'm a psychic realm channeler and energy healer, and I specialize in working with magical realms. I work with fairies, work with dragons, unicorns, mermaids, uh, all different kinds of magical beings. I work with ascended masters. I work with um, gods, goddesses. I work with all kinds of different energies, but I do specialize in working with the magical beings. And fairies are some of the beings that I work with. I'm also an energy healer, and I help you connect to the magic of your truest self, and I do that a lot with these different beings. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about how fairies can help us, not that they're here so much necessarily to do that, but they can help us, and they have been teaming up with us to be a part of, to help us be a part of the change to help us in our purposes, our purposes. So I'm all about that deeper connection to yourself and really being your most authentic self. And fairies really help in that energy and being your most authentic self. So fairies are here on earth. First of all, let me say this. Fairies is kind of a broad term that is for many, many, many different beings. And they can have lots of different names like elementals, nature spirits, and People use different terms, different language, I don't know, different ways, different ways of using words, basically. So it doesn't mean that one way is better than another way. We may interpret things in a slightly different way and doesn't mean that any of it is wrong. It's how we interpret it. So this is my interpretation, my channeling, my going into nature and connecting with them myself and receiving information on my own. I have done some programs um, with other people as well, but this is really definitely like the energy that I go into and how I see things myself. So fairies, in that general term, are beings that are here to take care of the earth, to nurture and care for the earth, to help heal the earth. They take care of the plants. They are a part of, you could consider them a part of the 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 land itself there's spirits within rocks i don't know that i would consider that part of fair the fairies but you could um because that's it it yeah it all goes together really and they are here about taking care of the earth it's all about for them it's all about taking care of the earth that is their purpose and taking care of these plants and that balance that is needed here on earth so they're not necessarily here for us, but they can help us. They can help us to live our purpose and being a part of the change on earth and being a part of creating the new earth and being a part of the healing that needs to happen here. So not all fairies are good fairies. They're not necessarily bad, but they're not necessarily for our highest good to connect with them. So it's always important to state your intention to only work with those of the highest and best good, the deepest of love, highest of integrity, all of that. But fairies can help us in a lot of different ways. Now, they, they read your energy. As soon as they see you, they read your energy. They know if you have good intentions, if you're genuine, if you're in integrity, if you are in alignment for them to connect with you, they know that immediately upon reading your energy. So you can't trick them into thinking that you're, you're a good person or whatever if you're not a good person. So I assume if you're watching this video, you're probably a good person, right? So fairies can help you in a lot of different ways, but they're all about the earth. So they want you to help them with healing the earth or taking care of the earth or, you know, in that energy, that is what is most important to them. So if you are someone who uh, picks up trash off the ground when you're outside, if you're someone who recycles, you limit your use of plastic or don't use plastic at all. If you're environmentally friendly in many different ways. They know that. They know that you have good intentions. They know that you want to do your best for the environment and that is what matters 
to them. So if that is what you do, then you're more likely to be able to form a deep connection with them and to receive their guidance, their support, and their healing. And they can be very healing. They have abilities that you know, we as humans have forgotten and they can help you remember your abilities. They can help you reconnect to your abilities. They can help you reconnect to your inner child. They can do many different things. Those are many more videos that I can do. But the whole thing is, is about, they're about the earth and taking care of the earth and working with the, the plants on earth. And so connecting with fairies can be, um, it, it, don't overthink it too much. They're anywhere. First of all, they're anywhere that there's nature, but the more in nature you are, so where there's not going to be like pesticides sprayed and different poisons sprayed on the ground, um, you're going to be more likely to find them. So when I go, I go to a nature reserve. And when I go to the nature reserve, I can connect with many, many different beings there. And I can tune into the different fairies and sense where they are, what they're there for, uh, if they want to connect with me, I can sense their personalities and I can see them. So I see them in my mind's eye. Sometimes I see them with my physical eyes, but usually it's at the corner of my, of my eye, but I don't really need to. Like I can see them clearly with my, with my inner vision. So, and I don't have to be looking at them. I can sense, okay, there's three standing over there. They're peering around the, cor uh, the, the tree. They are in an energy of, they're curious about me. And then I can kind of go a little bit deeper. Are they, um, are they wanting to communicate with me? Are they of the highest good? I can tell what they're wearing, how, t how big they are. So fairies come in many different sizes. They can be teeny tiny. They can be bigger. They can be bigger. <laughs> you know, they, um, the other day when I was connecting with them, there was one that was kind of up to my knee. There was another that was a little bit taller than my knee. This was estimating because they weren't standing next to me. But then there were some that were flying around me that were itty bitty. Um, fairies do not look like Tinkerbell for the most part. We do tend to impress our own impressions. Like, Put our own impressions on them and how they look, but that's not generally how they look. Um, I don't like to say they they that's not how they look at all because it's possible they can look that way. But for the most part, my experience with fairies is that they look many many different ways. But usually, it's not how we expect them to look. So by human standards, they can look very scary. Um, they can have really sharp teeth. They can have really long fingers. Their body isn't in proportion the way that ours is. They can have really, really long arms. So when we, if you see them with your physical eyes, then it's likely you're going to be afraid. This is where people would be like, ooh, it's a demon or something. But remember that we have these like human ideas of what is normal. It doesn't mean it is normal. It's just what we've been taught for many, many generations of what is good or what is bad. And so it's more important to tune into the energy of them, feel into whether they are good or bad by their energy, whether they, and I don't want to say good or bad, but for your highest good, for the highest good to connect with them, because they may have other agendas. They may have other things. Remember, their job is about taking care of the earth, but a lot of times they are really willing and ready to work with us. So we have to have like that intention to really be um, of service to the earth, to um, do things that will benefit the earth in some way. So fairies are really great for connecting with in that way. They can help us to understand. They can teach us. They can teach us how the, how the energy works on earth. They can teach us how to work with different plants and make plant medicines and which plants are good for, for us. Um, they can teach us how to, um, how to heal things on the earth. I don't know if I said that part already. Um, but remember that there are so many different beings and they all have like different things that they do and different purposes. Some people have, they do see them with their physical eyes or have had situations where they have seen them with their physical eyes. So maybe you've been startled by one, maybe you saw it for a second and then it blinked out. Um, trust in that. It's a definite possibility that they were trying to get your attention or um, there was some reason why you were supposed to supposed to see them. But 
like I said, they look lots of different ways. And remember that the plants themselves have like a spirit within them, the trees, the tree spirit, there are tree spirits. Um, and then we have, you know, all of the many beings within the fairy, the fairy realms themselves. And they have all of these different names and they look all of these different ways. But one book or one author, illustrator, whatever, the, the person who I think draws or depicts them the most accurately is Brian Froud. And I have um, his fairies book, I have his fairies um, deck, and they depict them the most accurately to what I see. So I could talk about gnomes, I could talk about, you know, all of the different elementals, gnomes are earth elementals. I could talk about, um, I could talk about the tree spirits. You know, there's so many different bits and pieces, and these are all, <coughs> excuse me, all different videos that I can go deeper into it. Now, I do think it's important for me to go deeper into them on this channel. I have found that when I'm doing videos in other places, people are like, oh, well, tell me more about them. I want to have a place where people can come and find this information in one spot. So I do need to want to do a video on how to connect with them more, um, what kind of gifts you can bring them, um, things you can say to connect with them. I want to do a meditation to connect with them. So there are many more videos that I will be posting about fairies so that you can learn more about them. And then of course, breaking it down to each of the different elementals. Now this is all stuff that I teach in my programs. A lot of it is just connecting with them and learning how to connect with them more deeply in these places where I can hold the space and, and, um, and channel for you to help you understand what the energy is for you. Uh, I do invite you to my group Source vs. Circle on Facebook where I do um, meditations, I do uh, moon circles once in a while. I, am, I do have a membership group that is launching in September of uh, 2020. So that is something you might want to check out as well because that is um, weekly videos of really taking things to another level and having um, journeys, you know, twice a month and channeling every other week and just taking things, you know, in a, in a much bigger direction, uh, for you to have that greater support and understanding these things. But this channel is all about helping you to understand, um, to understand what, what is real and what isn't real. And like, I always say, like, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because, we all have like our truths and if it doesn't resonate with you, then that's fine. That's your journey. But this is my journey and I can only share my truths and my experiences. So hopefully this helps you a little bit. If you have specific questions about fairies or any of the elementals or anything related to this, pop it below so that I can make sure that I do a video on that and talk about it um, even more. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment, share it out to those who you think may enjoy it. And of course, I welcome you to join my Facebook free group, which is called Source Versus Circle. All of the, my links are below. I do also do one-on-one -on -one sessions if you feel called to have a reading to see, you know, who is showing up for you or how you can connect with the energies that are strongest for you and past life journeys and all kinds of other things. So my website, like I said, is below as well. So I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!